Hey everyone, um, my name is Anne Wilson and I'm an illustrator and in this short film I'm going to show you how to draw a pangolin. So this is taken from the book Red Alert, it's written by Catherine Barr and published by Otterbury Books and it takes 15 endangered animals on the planet and it explains what you can do to help. Um, when I was briefed with, for this project as the illustrator, one of the very important things to remember was that I couldn't just draw any crocodile or any monkey or any pangolin, for example. It had to be species specific. So what I mean by that, in this book it features the bonobo monkey or the long-nosed crocodile or the sunder pangolin. So what, I had to research what they look like and draw them as they are but whilst maintaining a sense of who I am as an illustrator, so do it my way. And in a minute I'll show you how to do a very simple line drawing of the pangolin and it might be something that you might want to have a go at too. Okay, so what I'm using is just a very simple uh, fine liner pen, this one's slightly thicker, just so you can see clearly. So any felt tip or anything if you want to use will be fine. Um, and the most important thing is just to get the basic shape first. So what we're going to start with is like a hill, a line that goes up and then down. That's his back. And then if you can continue this line on for his neck and then down a little bit further, so it's a big line going all the way down to there, that's going to be the front of his nose. Then. The width of his head is something to think about, so he's about this thick. And then you bring another line along just to join it up with that one there. So that's going to be his head. Then we add on his tail. They have quite long tails, which they can wrap around things. So it goes all the way down, follow that line down, but curve it round at the bottom. So it goes to roughly about there. And then think about the width of his tail, so he's going to be about this thick just under a couple of centimetres and then draw it round following the other line but getting slightly narrower so you can go to a slightly thinner end because his tail narrows at the bottom. So that's the head, tail and back and then what I'll do next is do his front leg. So from his neck curve a line down and round, just a very simple line that curves down like that. That's the front of his front right leg and then the other side, getting slightly narrower towards the bottom. Um, and then his tummy, so he'll have a, a little tummy that just comes along to about there. And then we want his back legs, so the line goes this way, but then it curves round underneath, like so. And then we join up the back leg. Again, getting slightly narrower as you go towards his toes. And then we'll join in the back to, oh, the back of his leg to his tail. Right, so now he can't just have two legs. So we'll put the other front leg on. This one's coming from the other side. Just a little line going down there like this. And then the other line coming around like this. And then we've got his other back leg, which is a line coming round and then like a slight S sort of shape, a backward S. And then this part of the leg comes down and curves around like that. So that basically is his shape, but he's covered in scales and he has claws. So he has no scales on his face, but it's all over the top of his head and uh, all over the rest of his body. So we'll draw a line giving him a shape to his face which curves around like that. And then what I'm going to do is just give him one nostril and a dot for where his eye goes and then he has little ears. So we'll just do a little C shape for his ears. Now what I'm going to do now is change pens to go to a slightly thinner pen because I quite like to have some thick lines and some thin lines for details. So with my slightly thinner pen I'm going to define his eye a little bit more and his ear 
and then add on the claws. So he has three claws on each foot, which curve round. So this front leg, he's curving, the claws are curving round this way. And on the others, they're going this way. One, two, three. And then I'm just joining up the line on top. And then this back foot, two, three, and then join up the claws. Last one, one, two, three. And that's your basic shape of your pangolin. Now I'm going to add on the scales, which is the interesting bit, the bit that makes up the pangolin. And the most important thing to remember when you do the scales is that on the thinner parts of the body, the scales are much, much smaller. So smaller scales on the head and on the tail and as you go towards the toes on each leg. And the scales all go in the same direction. So I'm going to go from his head to his tail. They all lie in the same direction. And that helps him when he it feels like he's in danger. He'll curl up into a tiny ball and all the scales will kind of wrap around each other, which is incredible. So I'm going to make a start just doing some small scales, going from the head down to the tail. So what you do is you literally do lots and lots of overlapped little lines like this. And you keep going like this getting slightly bigger as we come out of the head into the bigger part of the body so that you can see when we get there, the scales will be much bigger in the middle. And you carry on like that.